Hello everyone, myself Eshwara, a legal intern at Texas and Company and my topic for today is criminal defamation. Criti- uh, criticism may not be an agreeable but it is necessary. It fulfills the sum, uh, same functions as a pain in a human body. It calls an attention of the development of an unhealthy state of the things. Right to freedom of the speech and expression is a fundamental right and guaranteed to an Indian constitution of part 3. Article 19 uh, sub clause 1 states that all citizens shall have the right of the freedom of speech and expression. Through this, the fundamental right was absolute in nature that they exercised with a reasonable restrictions. Human being has no stance in uh, real, uh, real world if he cannot exercise the right of freedom of speech and expressions freely. He becomes utterly invisible in the world. The right of freedom of the speech and expressions fortifies or identifies, uh, identifies its of the extremes and importance to express one of the views in dom- uh, democratic country. Article 19 sub clause 1 does not, uh, does not only mean that right to freedom of speech but also freedom to criticize freely. Be it any person politician or government, we often uh, come across the news of the journalist uh, being murdered or a person spent night in a jail after tweeting some uh, after tweeting something against the politician or some post uh, photos uh, some uh, photos of the tweets taken uh, down the uh, taken down by the government all these things seems very uh, medicure uh, very medicure uh, to us to know india free democratic country right to live uh, Right to live with and exercise rights does not mean that any person can say anything or create a havoc in a country. Right to live with a d- dignity is also a fundamental which should not be hampered at all. Any person can not go on defaming any person's reputation which have a several effects on his life. Whosoever by the words either spoken or concerning the person intend to harm or knowing or having a reason to believe that such an expected of defame the person of such section 500 reads, whoever defames another person shall be punished with a simple imprisonment for the term may extend two years or a fine or with both. Criminal defamation is also a bailable and a non conjugable offence and is compoundable offence. And violating the uh, rights of the freedom, violating the rights of the freedom of the speech and expressions. Criminal defamation is much more grave than a civil defamation. The accused has to prove beyond the reasonable doubt. Through, we already have a civil remedies of the defamation and it is made clear to the apex court that there is no sufficient, there is not sufficient. If there are not, uh, if there are not sufficient, then they should have an imposed or amended. It is a smart tactic by the government to crap the rights in, uh, in the silence or voice. Then the apex, bo- apex body Supreme Court in the case of uh, Subramanian Swami uh, versus Union of India approved the constitutional validity of criminal defamation that the uh, defamation that the court appointed that the individual fundamental right to live with the dignity and reputation cannot be uh, ruined solely because another individual can have his freedom and the right of freedom of speech and expression is not an absolute right and has to be balanced with the right of reputation which is uh, which is protected under article 21 of the constitution thank you